Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play with Far Harbor. This time we are back with episode 91, which I believe is episode 30 for Far Harbor. And we need to turn some carapaces in souvenirs. to the Mariner. Cutting carapaces is a dirty job. The pay will be worth it. I got your Mireler carapaces. Finally, it's done. Everything that can be welded, duct tape, or super glued to the damn docks, all there. Feels like I can finally sit a spell and relax. <sighs> Take this. It's well earned. Well, thanks, Mariner. What's next? So, what are you planning next? In far too long since I've taken to the sea. It calls me, but that's for another day, Mainlander. Defender's Harpoon Gun ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Well, gee thanks, Mariner. I think we'll just go ahead and stash that in the power station. Power armor station. Oh, what was that called? Defender something or other. There we go. All right, now, what are we going to do with ourselves? Data. Cleansing the land. Okay, well... I guess we could go confront Dima. So let's do that and do that and not nuke a world. Okay, back to the nucleus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why the nucleus? Cleansing the land. Oh, optional speak to the high whoever. Let's not do that. Let's go to Acadia and talk to Dima and see what he's got to say for himself. I stashed all our stuff, sold some pre-war money, so we have some money, got some more ammo, ate some food, lightened our load. We are ready to roll. And roll we shall right up to Dima. Dima. Let's go close range. So, Dima, look, I was hoping we could talk. I didn't want to believe you at first about us being brothers. You don't have to apologize, Nick. I know it must have been a shock. Yeah, well, I still don't feel proud of taking it as bad as I did. Maybe we can start over? I'd like that. It's been good to talk to you again, Nick. Are you guys doing some sort of like experimental like I hope you don't film mind, project where you talk I from across the room? Shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. That's nice. So what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Well, Let's talk about the nuclear launch key. I have a memory of yours at a nuclear launch key. You knew how to detonate the sub in the nucleus all along. Give me a moment. I need to remember for myself. So I chose to forget the launch key even existed. Poor Confessor Martin. Was I lying to him all that time? The submarine is rusted into the dry dock. The only target that missile is ever going to hit is the base itself. The nucleus. Where the children of Adam live. We have to keep that key out of the wrong hands. The nucleus has innocent people living there among the zealots threatening Far Harbor. Now I'll protect the nucleus. I found the launch key already. I'll make sure it's never used. Thank you. Was there anything else in my memories? Some way we can work towards peace? It's funny you should ask. Wind turbine kill switch. Let's talk about that. One of your memories was about a kill switch you installed to shut down power to Far Harbor and let the fog take them. It's all here on this holotape. Let me see this. I remember. I was afraid that Far Harbor might turn against us. See us as too different for their precious island. So I made a contingency plan. 
Mass murder. I hid the kill switch code because I couldn't stomach the thought of actually using it. Then I hid the memory. Because I couldn't even stand knowing I made it. What have I done? If the children of Adam were to ever get a hold of that code, they would destroy Far Harbor. I'll protect Far Harbor too. Don't worry, Dima. I already have the code. Far Harbor is safe. Good. Now we just need to find some way to end this conflict. Have you found anything else in my memories? Well, now that you mention it, you did kill Captain Avery and replace her with a synth. Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. So you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why? Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor. A moderate voice. An example of what humanity should be. How we could exist together as equals. But I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. Hmm. Let's proceed. Okay. Let's be practical. How do we proceed from here? You're right. We have to focus on what has to be done now. Is that what you call justice? Because I sure don't. I'm... Starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They'd come after Acadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I... have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. <sighs> I'll keep your secret. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the... guilt... will keep me focused. That didn't seem to stop him before. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. Hmm. I'm listening. All right. Tell me what your plan is. This will be difficult for both of us, but I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. Convincing replacement? You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... Prepare a volunteer. Sure, why not? I never liked him anyway. Okay, I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. 
But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find. I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us. Acadia's shield plus one intelligence, agility, and endurance. Oh, they took Avery's skull. I'm gonna make a mug out of that. All right, well, there's us helping Dima murder someone else. Woo! -hoo. Okay. And the reason I agree to that is, well, I don't know. I don't really see another way out of the situation he's created here. He's already killed Avery. We expose his murder of Avery, and not only do these poor innocent folks up here get the short end of the stick, what about Avery herself? I mean, as far as I understand, the synths, when they do this, they believe they are who they are. I mean, what a... What a strange thing that would be to all of a sudden find out that you're not who you thought you were. Okay. So now, let's see, we need to recover Martin's recordings so that Dima can do something with them. And, you know, murdering Tectus is far from the worst thing I can think of to do. As a matter of fact, it's something I've thought about doing myself a time or two, so... I don't know. No good solution, I think. Certainly not the solution a paladin would come up with, not a brotherhood paladin, mind you. They'd already have exterminated everyone, but a an old-fashioned D&D-style paladin. Lawful good and all of that, but I think under the auspices of neutral good, we might just still find a way through this. He's under a truck. Ah, let's get that light kicked on. Lots of re why don't you just relax there, feral ghoul? Six bottle caps, eight forty-five rounds. Anybody else want to play? No. Okay. Hi, Nick. Charging in with your bayonet. Pump control unlock with the worn key. And in we go, recovering Martin's holotapes. What Adam requires. We'll just play I that while we say, look around. I'm surprised. I had assumed you and your followers would be more adamantly hunting for the sub's launch key. I hope we haven't disappointed you too greatly. I'd uh, hate to anger our landlord. I believe I'll survive. But, yes. am I mistaken? Does your god not require you die in a nuclear... It's not so a transaction, the Dima. Key, Adam requires nothing of us. That I don't know. a chance to become something greater. Are you afraid? I'd be mad to say I wasn't. But we've made a home for ourselves here. Friends. A family. A place you belong. Exactly. The nucleus. It is a blessing of the truest order. It would be hard to leave such a gift, even if it is for another. But regardless, the key is lost. So, until Adam sees fit to return it, I dare say you're stuck with us. I believe I'll survive. 
Mm, a strange bit of over speaking. I wonder if it was because I picked up that icon. Sister Gwyneth's visit. Sister Gwyneth came to me last night. She said she'd spend another night thinking as we discussed, but that she cannot unsee what she believes to be the truth, that Adam cannot be real. We talked for the better part of two hours, discussing back and forth. I reminded her of the gifts of the island, of Adam's blessing, of the messenger seen by her brothers and sisters, of the family that Adam has granted her. That seemed to calm her finally, and she returned to bed. But now dawn comes, and her questions still linger, raise doubts that I have ignored for some time now, and I am left with my own question. Is perhaps Gwyneth wiser than she knows? Sure, we'll grab that. A new path. Adam above, I've lost them. Tector screams for blood, and the children cheer. I beg for civility, and they whisper traitor behind my back. And I'm left to wonder what I might have done to deserve you taking them away from me. But in the back of my mind I know. Waning faith is an untended fire. Fail to care for it, and it cannot be rekindled. Thus here I sit, thinking on embers, trying to summon the courage to do what I know I have put off for far too long. So I shall step out that door, and when I do, my life begins anew. But for the first time, O oh Radiant One, its path is out of your hands. Okay. And we've got another tape. And apparently we've got all of them. I heard about the execution. I can't believe they killed your missionary, Martin. I'm sorry. Brother Andrews, a good soul. The fault is mine. If I'd realized things had become so tense in Bar Harbor, I would have never let him leave. They blame us for the fog overrunning the town, Dima. And now, the children. It's Tectus. He won't listen. He wants to prepare for war. Do you believe the others will follow him? Time was. I would have laughed at such a notion, but now... Andrews was beloved by many. It's brought out the worst in them. Fury. Hate. It was tolerable when it was just Tectus. Dima, something must be done. Exile? Exodus. I think it's time you and I convinced the citizens of Far Harbor to leave. You can't be serious. You know as well as I, they're not meant for this place. The fog grows thicker every year. How long before the condensers are finally overwhelmed? It's not banishment, Dima. It's mercy. I'm sorry, Martin, but no. They have as much right to be here as you do. Right? This place is trying to kill them, and now my people are at my throat because of the mess you created by allowing them to stay. And if you can't recognize that, then I suppose there's no reason for you to be here. I think you should go. Martin, please. This can be solved in other ways. Get out! Very well. We'll talk again when you come to your senses. And hopefully that will be before I'm irradiated to death, which is happening actually quite quickly. Let's have some mutant hound chops for the little they will do. We'll top that off with a rat away, some rad scorpion snake, steak, snake too, maybe, you never know. And bounce on out here. And I think we will bring episode 91 to a close. And we will, of course, be back in episode 92. We'll probably jump straight to Acadia to go visit Dima with our tapes. For now, I would like to thank you for joining me and the mysteriously absent Nick on our journey, and also thank you for all of your kind words and support, as always. I would also like to remind you that I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you're on mobile, it'll be on my channel about page. 
Also, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it. These are cards and links to other videos that I've made. I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like and share if you so desire, and ask you to please take care.